Okay, so we have finished our paint film. <coughs> and now we have some paint here, all right, different colors, right, and this is the double per film. But we want to be able to look at it and we want to be able to send it through a projector. So we're going to have to splice together the pieces that we have if we have multiple pieces. And then also we're going to have to put some leader on this. Leader is something that gives slack at the beginning and the end of your film so it can have some extra space to uh, set up the projector and get it in place so that your first uh, frame is not at the take up reel but it's ready to be projected. So the leader that we have here is called single perf which means the perforations are only one side so we have to be a little bit more careful uh, when we do this. Um, so first we're going to use the splicer to attach the leader to the front and the end. Remember the head and the tail of our film and then we're going to look at it through this viewer where we can manually go back and forth and view it and then we will take it to the projector. So our first step is to take our single perf leader, white leader, and attach it to our paint film. I'm going to take uh, actually about a piece as long as between these two reels is what we need. So I'm going to do measure it briefly, move that out of the way, and bring the splicer down. This is called a guillotine splicer. The way it cuts should explain its name. Um, I'm going to take my leader. There are some little um, pegs here that I'm going to put my sprockets in and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get a nice clean slice. Move that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to make sure my other end that had the tape on it, I'm going to make sure that also has a nice clean splice in the right place. And if I put it in the little uh, knobs there, it will be spliced in the right place. But it's, it's, this is single perf. I need to make sure it's in the right position so that it will go through the projector. And I want it to be, when I hold it up like this, remember this being the first frame, the head, this being the last frame, the tail, I'm going to attach the tail of my leader to the head of my paint film. I want it to be with the uh, perforations on the left hand side. So I'm going to then lay that down like that. I'm going to go find the head, the first frame of my of my paint film. So if this is the first frame of my paint film, I want to attach it to my leader. I'm going to, I can, I have some tape there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come to my guillotine placer. I'm going to chop it off, move that out of the way. All right. And now I have a nice fresh splice here and I have a, a nice fresh splice there. I'm going to hold up my film. If I have any words or anything that needs to be proper left and right, I'm going to make sure that I, with the top here, that I can read it. It should be in the proper position, the way you want it projected. Then I'm going to put it together like that. So this is how I want. Splices on the left, being able to read it. And then I'm going to flip it over and splice it. What I'm doing here is I'm taking, making sure the two pieces are on the pegs and butt up against each other. I'm moving the little holders in place. I'm taking the tape, oh, I got more than I needed, and spreading it across. And I'm taking my finger and I'm going to go like that and get rid of any bubbles. It's going to cut it and it's going to make a splice and a hole. And this one came pretty nice, but if there's extra tape, I'm going to take a little razor blade and kind of just make sure that any little extra is shaved right off. So now I have, <coughs> again, the front, the first frame of my paint film. 
and move this away for this moment. And now I'm going to go find the end of my paint film. Here I have it pretty loose because you're probably with the paint film you're working in small batches, right? So remember I'm holding it like this in the right position. And I'm going to put a leader on at the end. This is called the tail leader. So now this is my right position, and I have it there. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to make sure I have a nice splice. So I'm going to splice it off. Get a good, clean splice. And now I'm going to attach that to my tail leader. Again, I'm going to stretch it out sort of between the two um, uh, reels here, and I'm going to splice it off. Now, if you have double perf leader, you don't have to worry as much about the position, but with single perf leader, you got to get those perforations in the right place, or uh, it, the projector will chew it up. So, and it's like that. Right. And... <coughs> And I want to double check that I have it in the right place. So what I'm going to do now is actually put the film onto the reel here. So I want it, right, perforations on the left, and then I want it to reel inside. So it's like going down like that. So I'm going to go here onto this reel. This way I know it's in the right position. And I'm going to reel it all on. Now I know the position I want mine to be in. I want it to be like that. I'm going to come in here and tape it. And put down my little things, hold it in place, stretch my tape over, be real careful. So to be able to use the projector, I can't have this loose. I need it to be on a reel. So again, I'm going to use this thing that's called a daylight spool. We use these uh, in cameras, but we have a lot of extras, so we can use them for our paint films also. And again, I am going to take it, and there's a slot. I'm going to click it on there if I can. And again, I want it to be in the position so that when it's coming around like this, the the sprockets are on the left. So I'm going to get it kind of tight. I'm going to put this on here. The crank. And I can crank it down. And now that was the end of my movie. The right is the beginning of my movie. The left is the end of my movie. And I have leader on both sides so that I can have extra for reeling it through and sending it through a projector. So I don't need the splicer anymore. And I'm going to pull forward this viewer. This uh, will send some light up, goes to a mirror, comes to this viewer, and we can see. Here, we get doing this by hand so we can go fast or slow to see what we've done. I am going to slide my film between so it's easy to pull back and forth. So it goes under, over, under, over. So once I do that, and it can move freely, I'm going to engage this lever here at the bottom. I'm going to put that up. It really engages in, and we can see that there is something coming up here. I'm going to turn off the lights. So we can see it a little better. And then as I pull my film through, I can see what's on there. And again, the nice thing about the viewer is I can go back and forth, and seeing what I have. And this is an interesting one because we could see color on it, but because it was very opaque paint, it's not coming through as color, it's coming through as just black and white. 
it's an interesting kind of pattern that's coming through it, but that's because it was a really opaque paint. And now I can go fast, I can go slow, I can go back and forth and see what I've got. And this reel at the bottom, look, I can make it more or less focused. And so for some paint films, I might actually want to just take my camera and put it up to this viewer and be able to do a lot, uh, record it both fast, slow, backwards and forwards, give myself a lot to work with. Right? Or I can take it to the projector, which is what our next video will show you.